The woman is suing the hospital she worked at, claiming their recklessness almost killed her. Have a look. A New Jersey woman with a severe nut allergy is suing the hospital she worked at, claiming she became seriously ill after coworkers had food containing nuts around her. She said she was hospitalized multiple times after coworkers were eating in open areas. One time a doctor ate cashew nuts in the control room of the operating room, causing her to experience anaphylaxis and resulting in a five-day hospital stay. The lawsuit claims the hospital failed to accommodate her disability, discriminated against her, and created a hostile work environment. Dr. Lisa, what are your thoughts on, on the case? This is shocking in a lot of ways because we're in a hospital setting where we have medical professionals that recognize that an anaphylactic allergic reaction to nuts is something that is a pretty serious condition that causes people that have that allergy to have this severe kind of emotional, psychological, and physical reaction, right, when they see people that are around them. And I think legally the hospital is has... Um, got some explaining to do if she has, in fact, actually reported it, documented it, and they haven't taken measures to create a better environment and make sure that staff is treating her and, and accommodating this, what we, which is actually a disability under the ADA. So, Dr. Lisa, it appears that in this case she is alleging that she first had a very, very severe attack that she ended up in the ICU for five days for. Following that, she did go through that protocol that you just mentioned, that she actually went to HR, documented it, put this hospital on formal notice, and yet it continued to happen. And when you mentioned the ADA, it is interesting because 2008, they changed the criteria so that it accommodates now people who only have symptoms when they're triggered. So this includes allergies. And so I wonder what happened that once she actually went to HR and supposedly the hospital was put on formal notice that it kept on happening multiple times. Where do you think the hospital fell short here? If HR was in fact sent a report and said, this is a condition and I need an accommodation and they didn't put training in place for right. staff, if they did not put any pictures uh, up that says this is a food allergy zone and created kind of a safe space for her to be in or in these areas that she was working in, the hospital is going to have a pretty serious situation. And I think that Dr. Travis is totally right in the sense that we're going to see more cases like these as we go forward. And the fact that the law hasn't caught up in these workplace environments and figured out an accommodation, I think is just a matter of time. And unfortunately, that's what lawsuits like this do is it requires and sets us up to make those changes in our in our other in our other settings. But Dr. Lisa, there's a zero percent chance that any staff is going to purposely eat nuts in someone with a severe nut allergy. I just I don't believe that. Sometimes accidents that can occur, and if all of the pa paperwork wasn't filed appropriately and there was a mistake, it is an awful circumstance. So we are all about a safe workplace, and I think everyone being more mindful of these allergies. Um, there are some elements of the story that, that aren't particularly, they don't always add up. Um, five days in an ICU no, the after a, sort of, a, a, There's some issues that don't make sense. We did reach out to the medical center in this particular case. They gave us the following statement. We are committed to providing a safe environment and high quality health care to our patients, their loved ones, the communities we serve, and our team members. We are unable to provide further comment regarding ongoing litigation. Dr. Lisa, I know one thing. We really appreciate your thoughts and opinions on all these important topics. Thank you.